continue to look ahead uh, to the World Cup and the teams participating. Anil Kumble has been doing that for us here on uh, Cricket Next. We're looking at the Sri Lankan team and that's the squad. A lot of people when they look at that squad say, gosh, those are some unknown players around the world because Sri Lanka went for a complete overhaul. They've dropped the likes of Upul Taranga, Niroshan Dikkavela also did not make the cut. Akila Dhananja didn't make it. And their captain, Dimut Karanaratne, believe it or not, last played an, a one-day international in 2015. And he'll go straight into a World Cup as a captain. In their last five one-day series, Anil, Sri Lanka have won three games. Yeah, I mean, no wonder they've made those changes. But then the names that you took, They've been the top performers over the last two years. Yeah. You know, Dikwela, uh, Taranga, uh, Akila Dananjaya, uh, but none of them are in the squad. Yeah. So it's it's going to be difficult for Sri Lanka with a new captain who hasn't played for the last four years and then suddenly goes uh, into a World Cup as captain. Angelo Matthews again will be the key figure for Sri Lanka. He needs to play. Uh, his role not just as a batsman but perhaps as a leader as well because he needs to take the leadership role not necessarily you know he's not the captain but yet he needs to take the leadership role it's going to be a huge challenge I mean they have a decent bowling attack fast bowling attack Nuan Pradeep uh, you know Lakmal uh, Malinga but yeah. but then it's going to be a challenge with uh, inexperience uh, which is which is very evident uh, it, it seems like a very extreme reaction for a World Cup to make changes of this kind to this extent and then trust leadership. I mean, you've got to feel a little bit for a player like Karna Ratne uh, to be thrust into this role, not in a bilateral series, but at a World Cup. Yeah, I know. I mean, that's strange because probably because uh, Angelo Matthews, uh, they did not feel the need to go back to an Angelo Matthews. They probably felt that uh, you know, the, if you look at the T20 World Cup where Lasit Malinga uh, got them a trophy, uh, probably they didn't want to go to Lasit Malinga because knowing fully well that he may not be available to play all the matches. Uh, will he be fit? Will he be able to get through the tournament? Maybe that's the reason they did not go to Lasit Malinga. So it's, it's strange that they've chosen someone who hasn't played ODI cricket for the last uh, four years. So obviously the selectors believe that he's the right man for the job. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see how Sri Lanka progresses in this World Cup. Yeah, in fact, there's a few names that you look at that uh, team, team sheet that's, uh, that just uh, look back at you and say, yeah, these are quality players. Kusal Mendes, we've seen a little bit of him. Kusal Pereira, uh, we've also seen a little bit of Tisra Pereira. He's done quite well over the over the years so there are some, there is a core group of players who will have to carry this team oh yes uh, you know we have seen the ability of these players uh, even in test cricket yeah uh, and tisara pereira for a long long time has been in and around uh, sri lankan uh, team but in the last few months he's really played to his potential as a batsman his bowling i'm not really sure uh, but as an all-rounder, is is a part of this. He he has the experience of being uh, a part of uh, you know Sri Lankan squads. But having said that, I don't think there is enough meat in the Sri Lankan squad uh, to go all the way. Uh, that is my uh, you know uh, limited point because they have left out a few of the informed players. You may have issues, but then getting into a World Cup, you can't just let go of the all the experience, all the runs that these batsmen have scored, Upul Taranga, Dikwela, none of them are there. So yeah. it's going to be a challenge uh, for uh, Sri Lanka. Right, so you don't, I don't think you I see them making so. this. I don't think so. <laughs> right, yes, it's an uphill task for Sri Lanka. But remember, start of the year against South Africa, they pulled off a test series win when no one gave them an opportunity. So perhaps uh, this World Cup, they can actually do something quite as remarkable as that.